So how do you make your war stories and your testimonials feel really credible? Sure, if you're giving a truthful war story or, or, or example of doing a great job with a client in the past, it's very simple to say, you know, I worked with the president and he really liked what I did. That feels real. Why would you be lying? But the, if you use this technique of dropping your first name in, suddenly it feels like a real conversation. And the prospect you're telling this story to is going to give you not just huge amounts of credibility, they're going to be in that moment. They'll be even in that kind of space where it feels like they're in that conversation watching it. So instead of saying, you know, I, I had a client, I spoke to the president, they were really impressed with what I did. I'll say something like, I'll, I was with a client and I met the president and he said, Richard, I really love what you're doing. Just by dropping my first name in, as if that person is addressing me directly, suddenly it feels real. Again, it was real anyway, but this really makes it feel real in the whole storytelling thing. Try it out when you're delivering a testimony or kind of a case study or some social proof of working with someone. Say, they said to me, Richard, this, 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 this. Okay, when you drop in that first name, it puts the prospect in that moment with you when you were really actually addressed by that client and told how great you were. Um, but I hope that helps. I'd love to hear if you do this and if you don't, if you weren't aware of it, give it a try and tell me how it goes. But drop in your name. Oh yeah, I was speaking to this guy the other day. He said, Richard, I think your tips on LinkedIn are so great. <laughs> Something like that, okay? It makes it feel that much more real. And if it's real, then people are gonna be in that moment and believe that war story that much more. See you soon.